winter I come, full of subscribers and other racing fans. You see it, F1 2016, Tony got it, what? What is going on? Not a particular fan of uh, the F1 series from Codemasters. Well, the last one I tried was 2011 and it was pretty disappointing to me. However, I'm very interested in the uh, new version, in the 2016 version. However, I didn't have uh, the money to buy it actually at this point. Thank you very much very 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 much F1 Massa for gifting me this game so I can make some videos about it and test it and try it. Um, very much appreciated, wonderful guy. Um, if you don't know he will be more involved with YouTube and Twitch maybe in the future because he got better internet so I put the links of his social stuff down below check it out well we have the game here and that's actually the first time I started it so I take you with me from the beginning with all its quirks or well if it has any actually the first thing I notice to get into the options I have to press F2, which is rather strange, but well, I guess that's because of the consoles um, that you have some strange uh, buttons that are not there without a gamepad. Good, what do we have? Nationality. I guess we have to choose our nationality here. Just for the fun of it, let's take German. Okay, do I need to create a new save game or... No, I don't think so. Let's go into the settings and try to set up our wheel, which will be the most important part at this point here. Customize controls. Good. Control schemes. Logitech G25. Wonderful, it got my... Logitech wheel already pre-set up and it looks good. Um, okay, create custom. Let's create custom because I want to see if we need to change anything. Because I never know which buttons are which if you are uh, in the menu it, it says you button 6. What is button 6? I have no idea. However, let's try it. Gear down is button 6. Wonderful. Cute. Next camera. Mm, I don't need a next camera on the uh, wheel. I only got two buttons on the wheel anyway, right? Let's take C on the keyboard then. Look back, we don't need that as well. I'm pretty sure if there is a proper mirror. Flashback. <laughs> activate, deactivate DRS. This is something I might need mm, several times. Let's take this on 8. Oh, it was already on 8. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Codemasters. Voice control, I have no idea what this is supposed to mean. Multifunctional display. That's probably something I will need. And the menu is probably the D-pad on the um, gear gear chain, uh, gear stick on the G25. Uh, what am I missing? Nothing really. What's mm. button three? What is button three? Is it this one? No, that's 18. Oops. What's button 3? That's button 4. Okay, button 3 is the red button on this thing. Good. Push to talk. Multiplayer, I don't plan to uh, race multiplayer for now. I want to try the career first. Can try some multiplayer later. 
Mm, well, I guess that's it for now. But there should be a multifunctional display. I have no idea if I need anything else, but there there are no other options, so I guess I'm fine with it for now. Go back. Advanced wheel settings. Steering dead zone, no, we don't need that, we don't need that. It's alright. Buttons. That's nice, you can see which buttons are which. Everything is working. Oh, actually taking my whole 900 degrees here. Hope that's not biting me. Yeah, that seems alright. Push feedback. That's the important part. Part. It's on 100, and I have no idea what this, what it means because at the moment and the menu there is no force feedback at all. So you can't really know if 100 is okay or not. You have to go on track for that. Environmental feedback wheel weight. Again, no idea. Environmental. Okay. Let's take it at default for now. And go back. Graphic options are probably okay. I've never had any problems with graphics in Cold Masters game. They are always quite resource uh, not, not not so resource hungry, I should say. On my old PC even there. They are working quite nicely. Uh, Video mode. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, we think off. That's correct. One setup. It's on medium, which is probably the best thing to do on my old system. Camera options. Effect gameplay. Yes. Field of view. We might come back to this later if I think the FOV is a bit off. For the moment I just leave it where it is. Okay. Got. It's all options I'm interested in. Audio settings should be fine. Volume levels. Yeah. Should be okay. Do it. Good, 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 good. On-screen display, what can we change here? Kilometers per hour, that's okay. Celsius, on-screen display, on. Rep the track map. It's a mini map, yeah. Fine. For me, on, on, on. Everything's on, yeah, I like it. All the information, give me all the information. <laughs> yeah. There we are. I'm back. Time trial. Let's go on track if we can do that. Just or built on the public roads around an artificial lake. Test out. Albert Park circuit in Melbourne is a real technical challenge. Watch for overtakes at the end of the DRS. Just to test out if the and FFB and stuff is okay. Close settings preferences. Oh, <clears throat> display my ghost off. Yeah, I don't need to. Ghosts. I hate ghosts. What is F5 and F6? Now I have to push F5 and F6. Um, I have no idea. F5 and F6. Weather try. Assist. Oh, we have to go into this. Whoops! Driving proficiency amateur! Come on! <laughs> I'm no amateur, or am I? Experienced professional, elite. Anti-lock brakes, 
Oh god damn it. I I I'd love to have the ABS, but I I won't use it. I won't use it. It's Formula One. You can't use it here. It should work without it. I should be able to do it right. Gearbox manual. Pit assist off. Pit assist off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. 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 Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm then let's try this. First time driving F1 2016. Leaderboards. Ooh, frame rate. Ooh. Yeah. Is okay. Or the six is kind of uh, the steering wheel is not doing anything. Pit limiter? Do I? I have no button for the pit limiter, which is strange. Go to track. Flying lap. Okay, I can't drive out of the pits in time trial. It seems. Oh oh, I already see. Oh my god. Yeah. The wheel setup is is bullshit because it takes my whole 900 degrees uh, wheel rotation which is much too much too much obviously. <laughs> Too much power. Good. Yeah, for feedback's too strong. For me at least. Much too strong. Okay, I can't hit escape at the moment. Uh, how do I get out of the car? <laughs> F1, F2, F3. Nothing's working. Oh yeah, that's, that was a screenshot. Oh. That was a replay. Good. Okay, pause menu, there we are. <sighs> Customize controls. Force feedback. Strength. Let's go down. Yeah. And advanced wheel settings. I don't want to change. Oh, steering saturation. Adjust at which rotation is considered maximum lock. Wonderful. That's what I need to change. Um, let's take it to 50%. So we have 450 wheel rotation. 450. That might be too less, actually. Oh, let's take 40. I hope that's what I think it does, anyway. Yes, okay. So if I turn the wheel like that... That should be 100, I think. That would be nice. Okay, good. Let's leave it at 50 then. I hope you are not bored. 
if you watch this video but I just want to explain everything I need to do to set up the car coming from uh, Broji cars yeah so another thing uh, the FOV driving view cockpit TV pot I like cockpit but I'd like to have it a little bit higher maybe or uh, the camera position adjusted a little bit more where was the uh, camera options field of view so oh wonderful here we can adjust that that's that's wonderful and offset what does it what does it do ah okay that's exactly what I wanted to do. I can't see the display anymore then, though. And the mirrors. Is there a, a virtual mirror? That would be my next question. the first feedback is not strong enough change it back oh, damn it. I'm such a noob, noob. don't know oops what did I do now oh shit that was wrong aha okay I found the correct it's the button zero or the button one hard to set up the whole thing here hard to set up Well, actually not, because you can do it live, which is much appreciated. I like to remove all the uh, all the effects, because there are some strange effects. But there is no advance, it's just environmental feedback and wheel weight. So you can't really choose which force feedback effects you like or not. Uh, because there's some rumble over the curves which felt really artificial at the moment or during braking it felt a bit strange I would like to deactivate that because I don't think that's how it works but well anyway a little bit louder and yeah obviously need to change the driving view again so I can see the gears go back okay I can't go further back but that should be okay with the FOV I have here Ooh. Okay. I have no idea about the tire temperatures. Can I actually see that? That would be my question now. The multifunctional display doesn't do anything for some reason. Huh. Oops. 
very firm again. Not sure if we actually need the eight here. Very familiar with the Australian, oops, with the Australian track. I'm also not driving it the first time. Going on to the throttle, not the easiest thing to, to do, I'd say. Well, that's to be expected with 900 uh, horsepower of hybrid. <laughs> Hybrid power going into the wheels. And then the throttle again. Oh man. Okay, let's try to do one clean lap. session ever in F1 2016. I threw it away in the last corner. That's how you do it. 
good. Okay. That's it for the first session. I hope you enjoyed a little bit. And in the next session we will start our career. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.